All right, what's up guys? It's your boy 90 Soul back at it again. Um, doing another uh, customs video. Um, the month of May I'm trying to release, you know, hopefully once a week, roughly once a week, uh, a custom review of a custom I've done. Um, I'm gonna include ones that I am happy with the work and ones where it was kind of a fail. Um, where this one's gonna fall is probably in the fail column. Um, I kind of cut some corners. I needed to get it done pretty quick um, and unfortunately uh, I suffered the consequences from it so let me let me start off by saying you know I, I I've done a few customs I'm not I'm not a big time customizer I, I do have a little bit of an art background but from the most part um, haven't really customized shoes for long uh, I've done some you know slides I've done a couple pairs of shoes I mean I have some videos posted from before um, but I'm just kind of getting into it. So learning the ins and outs, making the mistakes is all part of the process. Now I had a uh, special event I was going to, um, wanted to kind of stand out a little bit with, with a pair of shoes. I mean, obviously I can just bust out a high pair of shoes or, or something that's gonna catch eyes, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to do something a little more original. Um, I had a pair of these elephant print Air Jordan ones that I had gotten, I think from um, the outlet or somewhere for relatively cheap um, and I thought you know what I can customize these pretty quick unfortunately um, I didn't have the paint available normally I get my paint from Angelus direct um, but unfortunately I didn't have the colors I needed and the wait time is usually about a week and I needed to get these done in under a week so I ended up going to Hobby Lobby or something and got some premium acrylic paint unfortunately you know the paint itself did not hold up to the wear and tear like the the creasing um, and I mean even the coverage was kind of hit and miss I don't know if it's gonna pick up because of the lighting but you can kind of see the inconsistency as, as far as the coverage it looks like I went on too thick in certain areas now I didn't spray this like with the airbrush I actually hand painted this part so that's another reason why it probably looks a little inconsistent, but um, I thought the red still looked pretty nice. It's kind of a deeper red. So on the back, I, I got a patch, just kind of like I did with that pair. This is a little bit better quality patch, but I got a patch and glued that onto the back. I think that actually looks pretty fire. Um, almost looks like an old style PE, maybe what they would have played in or something back in 85 when these came out or whatnot. And then on the toe, I mean, as you can see on both pairs, um, I went with two really influential years as far as, um, you know, as I'm growing up and watching um, college basketball and the Arizona basketball team. So um, definitely my favorite um, team. And really when I really started watching basketball a little bit more consistently, um, I mean, I was only four or five years old, but um, the 85 season, with Sean Elliott and Steve Kerr. Those two players are, are definitely my two top players from Arizona overall. Um, you know, I've gone to I've gone to Arizona basketball camp, met Sean Elliott. I have gone to actually Steve Kerr had a uh, basketball camp that I've gone to, um, met him. Um, but definitely two players that I will always hold in high regards. Obviously, Steve Kerr's having a huge career now as a coach. Um, Sean Elliott, I believe, still does um, broadcasting and things like that. I mean, he had a really good career in the NBA. So did Steve Kerr. So um, definitely two two uh, players that came out of Arizona that I that I believe are probably in the top you know top two three that have ever come out of Arizona in my opinion. So um, what I did is I used a stencil, put their names and the year. Um, I think that was the year they went to the Final Four. Um, they lost, but it was still a good year for Arizona basketball. Again, the paint didn't hold up to the cracking. I mean, that T now looks like a cross. Um, you can see the cracking right there and right there. Um, definitely not something I'm happy about. Dig the color. I mean, I, I thought the blue, even though it was kind of darker, um, looked pretty pretty fire on this as well. Um, but again, because of the wrong type of paint being used, um, I'm gonna have to redo this. I, I mean, I'm not gonna redo the whole thing. I mean, obviously there's still gonna be the inc inconsistencies back on the heel area, but um, I'm gonna redo this portion here because this is a pair of shoes I'd like to wear again. I mean, I go to games occasionally, 
um, but I think just wearing those out just because it has what it has on the toe and just the colorway that it consists of um, it's definitely a, a, a head turner definitely something that people local where I'm at is going to definitely be appealing to most definitely a head turner uh, definitely something I want to wear you know certain times of the year so something I'm going to repair hopefully it's something that's going to uh, be able to be fixed I'm hoping not to have to strip it all, but I'm probably gonna have to strip the whole portion of it and just redo the stencil and redo it all. It shouldn't be too much work. So the other pair has the 97 season. That's the year that they went to the national championship and won. Um, they were led by Mike Bibby, who also had a huge NBA career. Uh, Miles Simon did not necessarily have a big NBA career. He, uh, he has been coaching a long time. He was a big part of that team and, and then winning that championship. So I gotta give him props on that pair for that reason uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below is this definitely a pair that um you know you think other than the fail as far as the wrong paint it's something that looked good overall let me know if you guys aren't feeling them check out my other videos if you can like and subscribe if you like what you see um gonna definitely have more more videos uh very soon thank you guys for watching peace